Overnight, fireworks on center stage at the first Republican debate. We need to bring with frontrunner Donald Trump refusing to attend, citing his lead in the polls, the night revolved around the next two highest polling candidates, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. We will send Joe Biden back to his basement and we will reverse the decline of this country. And entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy. The only war that I will declare as U.S. president will be the war on the federal administrative state. The polarizing political newcomer trading barbs with nearly every other candidate, who pointed out his lack of experience now is not the time for on-the-job training. Now that everybody's gotten their memorized, pre-prepared slogans out of the way, we can actually have a real discussion now. And his combative style. I'm the only person on the stage who isn't bought and paid for, so I can say this. The climate change oh, whoa, agenda whoa, 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 is a hoax. Is I've had enough already tonight of a guy who sounds like ChatGPT standing up here. Some of the night's most substantive discussion on the issue of abortion and whether candidates would support a federal ban. I promise you, as president of the United States, the American people will have a champion for life in the Oval Office. Don't make women feel like they have to decide on this issue when you know we don't have 60 Senate votes. Despite his glaring absence in the room, Mr. Trump's presence still felt. Ask if they'd support him as the GOP nominee, even if he were convicted. Eventually, six choice. candidates, Please including DeSantis, saying yes would. as the crowd reacted. <laughs> Though some still seized on his legal and political baggage. The conduct is beneath the office of President of the United States. Former Vice President Mike Pence using the debate to once again defend his actions on January 6th. He asked me to put him over the Constitution, and uh, I chose the Constitution. Would you have approached that question and that point any differently on the stage tonight if Donald Trump had been on it with you? I don't believe I would. And uh, I think it was a missed opportunity for him mm -hmm. not to be there. My bet is, uh, my bet is he might, he might, uh, he might be at the next one. The former president's advisors say the focus on him and on his policies and on the chaotic nature of the debate generally vindicated his decision not to show up and point to the millions of online viewers for his other interview. The question now is what, if anything, could compel the former president to show up at the next debate next month? Craig? All right, Garrett Higforce there in Milwaukee. Garrett, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.